Uh, Mike Garcia, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Mike says, if LDL is okay, um, but may cause plaque if vessels are damaged by glucose as it tries to repair it, um, could a cerebral flow diverter um, uh, aneurysm and high LDL cause plaque? Carnivore okay if um, flow diverter fit, if do flow diverter fit it? Um, I, no, I don't. I don't actually think that LDL is part of this process at all. Really, uh, I don't think that high. L, I don't think that you need um, you need damage, right? Um, um, you know, but you 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 damage your vessels with glucose. You can damage it with homocysteine. You can damage it with nicotine. You know, it's, it's sort of weird. I think I think the tobacco companies are up up to their old tricks again. You know, putting out all this research about how great nicotine is is for you. Uh, nicotine sucks. Nicotine is a drug. Nicotine causes direct damage to your body and your brain and your vasculature. It causes um, it, it actually can damage the art- arterial lining of your of your uh, vessels, and um, and that that starts the process for atherosclerosis. Right and peripheral vascular disease and and these sorts of things. Right, so um, not what you want. Um, so, uh, it, but it's it's it more than just glucose. So you know the question is um, you know it, it, LDL is okay, but may cause plaque if the vessels are damaged. I don't think that that's the case, and I and, and there I don't think there's any evidence to show that. In fact, there is no evidence to show that higher levels of LDL do not correspond with higher levels of cardiovascular disease and the correlation is not causation in any case. Um, but the only randomized controlled trials that we have on the subject and people are, Oh, well, that's not a good step. They're the only ones we have. So you don't like it, do a better one. Right. But, um, they're the only ones we have. And the only ones we have show that in randomized controlled trials with thousands of patients that when you, reduce LDL and replace saturated fat with polyunsaturated, you know, vegetable oils and seed oils that, uh, more people die of heart attacks and strokes as a result. So, I mean, this is just not something that we can actually, uh, even suggest that the cholesterol is, is part of this, you know, in fact, there are studies looking at, um, uh, seed oils that have, uh, you know, plant oil, plant fats have, have sterols, <clears throat> which is the plant's version of cholesterol. We don't need the plant versions of things. We need the animal versions of things. And the plant versions of cholesterol will lower our cholesterol because it, it sends a signal to our liver that we're getting cholesterol in from our food. And so we don't need to make as much. Fine. Um, but it's not actually cholesterol. We don't actually use it cholesterol. We can't use it uh, properly as a, as a building um, material and structural component. We can't use it for, to make our hormones or vitamin D, et cetera, which is what all our hormones, vitamin D are made of is cholesterol. And so it actually screws things up a lot. And also macrophages really like cholesterol. They hang on to it tightly. All cells make cholesterol. And um, so they really like human cholesterol. They don't like plant sterols. And so they actually spit those out very readily. And, um, and so they've actually found in like AAA, um, you know, on histology on AAA, which was in, um, um, abdominal aortic aneurysm that, uh, they actually found this stuff stuffed in is these, all these plant sterols. And we also know that they you were know, like trans fats. These things are very atherogenic, right? So these cause a lot of, a lot of these plaques. These are fats that just our bodies just have no idea what to do with because trans fats don't exist in nature, right? So that that's something our bodies have never seen before. Our bodies don't know what the hell to do with it. And they end up getting stuffed into weird places that shouldn't really be there and cause problems like cardiovascular disease. And, um, so that's what's happening. I don't think for a cold frozen second that, um, that our own, uh, um, that our own cholesterol is doing that LDL is just a carrier molecule. It carries cholesterol, it carries, uh, lipids and it carries proteins. So does HDL. HDL just carries slightly less cholesterol, very similar molecules. So just having more LDL molecules, why, why would that? cause a problem, you know, when you fast and you just stop eating for five days, your LDL will go up, right? Because you're actually, you're, you're running on your fat stores. It's a metabolic state change. You're running on your fat stores. And so you need to transport that fat, lipids and cholesterol, proteins, et cetera. You need to transport that around the body. 
So you need more of these things as part of fat adaptation is getting more LDL, more HDL, right? Is because you need to transport this around the body. You start eating carbohydrates, that goes right down. You start exercising, it goes up, right? Because you you're need more energy. You're trying to mobilize things, right? So fasting regular periods of time, um, that's been shown to improve health in a number of different ways, right? Including heart disease risk and, and things like that. And so, but it raises your LDL. If LDL directly causes harm, what's going on, right? Um, so again, it's just like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't pass the smell test. It was made up in the first place. You know, there, it wasn't a, a group of serious scientists who are like, Ooh, we really think this is what's going on. It was the sugar companies in the first place and probably the tobacco companies along with them pushing this narrative and making up this story and paying off people like Ansel Keys and professors from Harvard and elsewhere to just bullshit and lie and, and make up studies and, and things like that. Ansel Keys was, um, you know, did the seven nation study. That was a garbage study. He completely falsified all sorts of different data. You know, he had our value for his seven nations or 22 nations. He had complete data on, he just completely omitted those. And so he just fit the ones that, that fit that graph that said, Ooh, more cholesterol, more heart disease. You know, the interesting thing there, if you just looked at sugar consumption as well, it had the exact same curve for those exact same countries. So it was called an R value. So your relative risk association for cholesterol was exactly the same as relative risk association with sugar consumption. And guess what Ansel Keys' take home was from that study and the rest of his work was, ooh, cholesterol could really be a problem. Eat sugar instead. What kind of asshole do you have to be to make that sort of statement? So this guy, this guy was, uh, this guy was a fraud, and I, I think that his entire life's work should be burned to the ground. I mean, the guy—you just can't trust a single word of it. Um, other people think that you know he was just ideologically driven and 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 you know really wanted the best, but just couldn't couldn't accept that this went against his life work that happens too. But I think that it's more likely in my mind, just being the, the cynical sort of person and uh, that I am uh, that, that this was just, he was just a fraud through and through um, because it, it, you know, he was just paid from day one to just push this narrative, you know, and, um, and he had the data in front of him. I mean, he, he had the, you know, the R value for sugar was exactly the same as the R value for cholesterol. And yet he recommended you just cut out fat and replace that with sugar because sugar is an empty calorie. You know, you need these calories from somewhere. So just replace them with sugar. And he was being paid by the sugar companies. So I, I don't, I don't think that he was being honest by any stretch of the imagination. And then he actually worked on one of these large scale randomized control trials um, called the Minnesota coronary experiment went for on for five years. They looked at nearly 10,000, uh, people that were institutionalized in, um, psychiatric facilities or, uh, the prison systems, um, prison and jail systems. And, uh, and they didn't even know it was a double blinded study. So, you know, they just replaced like butter with margarine and animal fats with, with seed oils. And, uh, and no one knew which group was which. And the group that um, had, you know, plant oils and margarines replaced for, for animal fats did indeed reduce their cholesterol because of the plant sterols. And more of them died of heart attacks and strokes as a result. So what are we trying to, what are we trying to accomplish here? And, and as a result, Ansel Keys refused to study the, refused to publish the study and buried it. So, I mean, this is like, this is, now, this is this is malice of forethought. This guy knows what he's doing. So it's never been proven one way or the other that LDL is even associated with um, with cardiovascular disease. Certainly, has not been shown with randomized control trials. And so I, I just don't think we play into their game. I don't. Well, if uh, or we assume no, we're, we don't assume a thing. Make them prove it. They have not proven it. It's been disproven a number of times. So I, I just I don't accept that um that position at all and so you know i don't think that we need to even entertain this whole what if scenario because it's just it's it's a it's it's not likely to be um the case so carnivore diet is okay no matter what you do with you know so all of that scenario 
LDL and this and that and, and all that. Carnivore is good. Carnivore is what your body's designed for. Your optimal nutrition for, you know, carnivore diet for a lion is good under all, any and all circumstances. You know, the grasses that cows and horses eat are optimal under any and all circumstances. Um, you know, so just the optimal nutrition for a species is always optimal for that species, always, right? And um, so, you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about this sort of thing. Uh, and I don't worry about that sort of thing. You can watch my videos on the truth about cholesterol and heart disease. You can watch um, Dr. Paul Mason's video. He has multiple videos and lectures at medical conferences on on uh, cholesterol, saturated fat, and all these other sorts of things. There's books uh, written on the subject. One's from uh, Dr. Malcolm Kendrick called The Clot Thickens, goes through all this sort of stuff and talks about his his um, idea about what you're really causing it and, and so on and so on and so on. So um, I, I, I just do not accept the premise that LDL has anything to do with cardiovascular disease uh, if in, in any way, shape, or form apart from being protective against it. And, um, you know, prove me wrong, but right now the evidence shows, uh, is, is entirely against that theory.